What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. Today we have another two minute tutorial Tuesday. We've got a fire skipping drill to help you guys fly like bosses as usual. So if you've already seen these two minute tutorials guys, you know I'll probably go over it a little bit, but you're gonna get a ton of value. So before you do anything else, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Join us with the hottest fitness community growing across the world today and we're backed up by the number one skipping ropes on the internet, hands down. Use Rush10 for 10% discount, hit the links down below and get yourself the most fire gear on planet Earth, guys, man. So today's tutorial, peeps, hopefully will help a ton of you, right? Beginners to advanced. The goal is to try and teach you timing. Now, timing is such a key element to performing well with your ropes, to getting the most out of your workouts, and to also just kind of get you I guess the right foundations to just doing tricks and to doing the moves the right way, okay? Now, let me give you an example, okay? If you guys are gonna do your double unders or a move such as a double under or like a power move, like a double under crossover, this is a, an example of kind of bad timing and how people tend to do them, all right? So they'll go here. Okay, just smack myself nicely, it wasn't on purpose, but that's the kind of stuff that can happen, all right? It's just, you see the legs coming up, you see the hands just going as fast as possible, and you see things just out of control. Similarly, with kind of like a double under crossover, you'll see this, all right? A lot of tripping up, ropes going everywhere, arms going everywhere, and there's not a lot of control, and it's always down to how you time your wrist movements, and that's what the whole point of this video is about today, is how to really time the flick or the unhinging and the rehinging of your wrists to make sure that you get the right optimum speed for the rope at the right time. Now, what I mean by this is, it's gonna be a little bit technical, but watch this, all right? This is kind of like a normal double under for me. Okay, if I wanna do two, right? You'll hopefully notice that it's very chilled, very kind of controlled, um, very smooth. And the reason is not only do I time my jumps, it's I time the way the rope goes around. So to learn this correctly, I want you to feel like your wrists will move in a kind of hinge and unhinge fashion. All right, I'm gonna come, up, come over to the screen to show you, right? When it comes to double under, for example, you're gonna generate energy and force one, two, like this, and then let the momentum of the rope come around for the next double under, right? Common misconception, miss kind of miss something, the problem what people do is that they just go so fast with their wrists every jump that they're not actually timing it. The key to real nice smooth double unders, for example, is you let the rope come around with momentum. So it goes here, then there's a little pause before your next one. So you have to be able to slow your wrist down. So you fire them, pause, 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 pause. So the swoosh or the whoosh happens one, two, one, two. It's not going continuous. Only time you ever see it go continuous is when you guys get really good at it. You jump lower and then you fire the wrist even quicker. So it's... But there's still a kind of typical pause there. And similarly with double under crossovers, right? The way we're gonna try and learn this or something like this kind of move is timing the jump to when we kind of unhinge this wrist. So what you do and what a lot of people tend to do wrong is they will jump first and then throw the rope, okay? What you need to do is try and match these two things up. So for example, if I'm doing a double under crossover now, I'm gonna jump just as the rope is by my feet, and that's really important, because if you jump too early with this move, you won't get back in time, all right? You'll mess it up. So you wanna take off just as the rope is below your feet, but then that is the time you put in the energy into that little flick, all right? That's when you let the, the wrist go, that gives you that force of the rope coming around quick enough. And by this point, you're already in midair. At that then, that point, you then obviously complete the cross and you already come down. You have so much more time, peeps, if you know when to flick the wrists. And that's what I'm trying to get out with this video is learning to hear that swoosh, that kind of sound which gets the rope around our bodies. And that is timing, that is when you know how to get the rope moving. And it can be just even just basic bounce peeps. A lot of people when they're skipping for the first time, you know, their wrists are going everywhere, their, their legs are trying to catch up, and then they tend to trip because they're not really syncing the two. So now, when you just do it, have a bit more conscious feel. If you can see my wrists, they'll naturally have this action, which is kind of like push, momentum, push, momentum, push, momentum. 
So the, there's a bit of time where the rope is doing its own sort of work and then you then come in with a little flick. And that's why it's so important in terms of doing sort of tricks, even like a southpaw, that little flick of the wrist, it doesn't happen with arms or unnecessary kind of energy kind of dying out here and then coming across your body. You're gonna lose the energy, it's gonna get killed. You wanna basically keep everything tight and then unlock the energy with the wrists for better timing. So give it a go guys, little, little technical one for you today. It's just about, again, matching up what you do with your wrists and your feet and just listening to the sound of the rope and generating that timing and the speed and everything together. So probably went over two minutes, a lot of chit chat, just a little technical one. Didn't wanna make it too, too complicated, but hopefully it helps the beginners out there mentally think about what they're doing with their ropes. And if you're intermediate, if you're advanced, wherever you are in your journey, leave me a comment, give me a subscribe. And again, thank you so much for copying our merch and gear. Peeps, we're gonna do it again very, very soon for another video. So until next time, take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.